I'm Jack from Teacher Geek, and today we're going to build a mini wind turbine. To build your mini wind turbine, you're going to need the following supplies. One hole plate, two perpendicular blocks, one number 10 nut, one number 10 25 millimeter or one inch screw, one mini hub screw, one mini hub cover, one mini hub base, one small motor mount, one small motor, three pieces of chipboard, cut to 22 centimeters by five centimeters, which is eight and a half by two inches, six long project sticks, which are 25 centimeters or 10 inches long, six small project sticks, which are 10 centimeters or four inches long, one 30 centimeter or 12 inch dowel, one 15 centimeter or six inch dowel, and one five centimeter or two inch dowel. And you will need to supply these items. A Phillips head screwdriver, some tape, a digital multimeter, a 2.7 ohm resistor, which is optional, four alligator clip leads, which are also optional, and some recycling bin materials to make your turbine blades. Let's get building, that's what this video is about. We're going to start by building the mini turbine base. Now, if you're using this activity in a classroom, you can keep reusing your base year after year and have kids redesign the blades every time. To build your base, you're going to start with your one inch number 10 screw and put it near the middle, top middle of your whole plate, going up from the bottom, the side with the, the big ridges sticking up. Push a block onto that and turn a nut on top of the screw tighten it down. If you have your screwdriver, you could use that to tighten it some more. Next, we're going to add our longest dowel, the 30 centimeter 12 inch dowel, to the other hole in the block. And we're just going to wiggle that in. And you want it to go through the bottom of the hole plate like this to help hold it stable so it doesn't twist around. Next, we're going to take our 15 centimeter or six inch dowel and we're going to wiggle that through the center hole of our other perpendicular block. That's this hole here. This could be a little tricky, so I like to rest it on the table and then wiggle the dowel in. And I'm going to continue pushing now that I got it started. I'm going to continue pushing until the block is about halfway onto that dowel. Next, I'm going to take a mini motor mount and stick it on one of the ends of my dowel like that. Then I'm going to push my small motor into the small motor mount. I'm doing this so that the terminals on the motor are on the top. Now that my motor is mounted, I'm going to push that block onto the top of my dowel. Now that we're done with our base, we're going to add the rotor. The first step of that is to build our hub. So you're going to take a mini hub base and put a mini hub cover on it. Then take your mini hub screw and put it through the hole in the cover and tighten it down with the screwdriver. Now your mini hub will just push right on the end of your motor, like that. It should spin nice and freely. Now we're ready to add the blades. To build your blades, you're going to take your 22 by five centimeter pieces of chipboard which are eight and a half by two inches, and you're going to tape them to your 40 centimeter or 10 inch project sticks. Wow. Like that. I'm gonna use blue painter's tape because that is my second favorite tape, after duct tape, of course, but you could use any kind of tape for this step, except a measuring tape. Those aren't sticky, won't work. Now make sure when you tape it on that you put all the extra project stick on one side because when you put that in your hub, you need that extra to go inside of it. All right, now that I have my turbine blades assembled, I'm going to add them to my hub. To do that, you're gonna to wanna to loosen your mini hub up just a little bit just enough to start putting blades in. Now my blades are in, I'll 
tighten it up just a little bit. And I want to give them a bit of an angle. That's what's going to make a turn in the wind. Now I have my angle pretty well set. I'll go and I'll tighten my hub back up. And there you go, mini wind turbine. I forgot to tell you guys, you need a fan. Guess what? You need a fan. So now that your mini wind turbine is built, you can test it out in front of a fan. But how do I know how well it's really working? I'm gonna have to hook up a multimeter to find out. Let's find out how. Now the motor on your wind turbine is designed to take electrical energy from a battery and turn it into mechanical energy by making the motor spin. But it also works in reverse. If you have wind making your turbine blades spin, the magnets and coils inside of your motor will generate an EMF or a voltage. They'll start to create electrical power. So the easiest way to measure that is just to take your multimeter, turn it on DC volts. That'll be a capital V with a flat line next to it. Not AC volts. This is like a wall outlet. I don't recommend you stick this in a wall outlet. Although you, you, you probably won't get hurt unless you touch the, meter, the leads. Don't do it though. <laughs> so you wanna turn it on DC volts to your lowest setting. So for us, that's 200 millivolts. And you can just hold them up here and touch them to the terminals of your motor. That's a little hard to do though, especially if you're testing in front of a fan. So we like to use alligator clip leads. So you can take your leads, clip them onto those motor terminals. And then clip the other side of the leads to the leads of your meter like so. Now it's a bit easier to test it with a fan or even spinning with your hand and you'll start to see a voltage go on there. With this setup though, you'll see that the voltage goes up and down a lot. So while this works, you can make it even better by adding a load or a resistor. That's where your two other alligator clip leads come in. Take the leads that come off your motor, which is acting as a generator, and hook those leads up to your 2.7 ohm resistor like so. Take your other set of leads and hook those to the resistor as well with one on each side. The other ends of these leads will then go to your multimeter. Now that you've hooked up your resistor as a load, you're going to see smaller voltages on your multimeter, but they're going to be more consistent, so it's easier to see just how much voltage your mini wind turbine is generating. Now as you start testing your mini wind turbine, you're going to find that these blades aren't very good. You'll also find that the key to getting a high voltage reading on your multimeter is to make this spin fast. The faster you spin it, the higher the voltage you get. So how do you make it spin faster? The first thing you're going to want to do is tinker with your blade angle. My angles are horrible. They're not even all the same. That's why it was shaking like crazy when it was in front of the fan. So first get that angle dialed in. Then experiment with blade designs. There are so many ways you can make your turbine blades, starting with materials. You can use chipboard, cardboard. You can use chipboard, cardboard, plastic bottles, coffee cans, duct tape, cereal boxes covered in duct tape. Just don't use metal. That's, that's dangerous. Metal's no good. Big blades, small blades, lots of blades, just two blades. One blade probably won't work. Shrouded blades, or even try making a vertical wind turbine. What will your mini wind turbine look like? Until next time, happy making.